This is Dot, the world's smallest Bluetooth earbud. It's so small, it virtually disappears in your ear. Enjoy high quality sound without the wires. Simple to use, with just a single touch for calls and a long touch for Siri. Siri, take me to the gym. With two onboard microphones for active noise cancellation, you can make calls or FaceTime with crystal clear sound. DOT features the latest Bluetooth technology and can wirelessly connect with up to eight devices. From working out to watching your favorite movie or both. DOT is sweat resistant and weighs only three grams, specifically designed to stay in your ear. Focus on your workout without being disturbed by annoying wires. Listen to what you want without anyone ever knowing. An on-screen display shows Dot's battery life on your phone. A unique carrying case doubles as a wireless charger. Just reinsert the earbud for charging on the go. Enjoy a week's worth of music on a single charge. Listen to your favorite tunes, podcasts or audiobooks without wires or heavy headphones. So lightweight, you almost forget it's there. Constructed of silver aluminum and durable polycarbonate materials, DOT beautifully blends fashion and function. Now, it's time to buy your own dot, the earbud that will change your life forever. This is actually Soundwiz's first official full-size headphones. Up to this point, they've been largely concentrating on quality Bluetooth sports earphones. So with this very first full-size on-ear Bluetooth headphones, Soundwiz decided to go with something that was pretty unique. As far as I know, these are the only inbuilt Bluetooth headphones with an open back design, at least within this price range of $120 and lower. Now, I should say they are actually technically semi-open back. And that is because you'll notice right off the bat, there is no open 
grill on the housing. With any other open batch, you'll see that, you know, a grill where obviously sound escapes from each side. What SoundWiz did here was make the internal backing perforated. So it actually escapes out. And then the faceplate is more acoustically transparent and not hermetically sealed. So with this case, even though there's no obvious grill, sound still is able to escape equally on both sides and thereby giving an extended sound stage. I could tell within 30 seconds of putting these on for the first time that I could hear that extended sound stage left and right compared to traditional closed back headphones. It is definitely a much more spacious sound that you'll get with a traditional closed back. Furthermore, the noise isolation is far better than open backs, not quite as, you know, closed in as closed backs would but with compared to open backs uh, when when you're wearing open backs someone walks in through the office door or is talking to you from four or five six feet away typing on a keyboard the whole nine yards you hear it <laughs> yes you do <laughs> and that's always been the biggest thing with open backs is you hear everything around you and of course everyone around you hears your music because it also has a uh, pretty strong sound leakage uh, whereas these, because of the semi-back, the noise isolation is a lot better. Someone talking to me from like three, four feet away, I couldn't hear them with my music, choral music, no less. So I had a lot of empty space in the sound stage. I couldn't hear a word they were saying. <laughs> so the noise isolation is much better. Uh, it still has sound leakage, but once again, compared to open backs, it's uh you know, far, further reduce. So it does have that advantage, not quite as an expanded sound stage, but still one better than closed backs, as well as sharing uh, better noise isolation and better reduced sound leakage than open backs. So as you can see, there's a bit of a give and take there. Uh, now, also, I noticed the other characteristic after about 50 hours burning, the other characteristic I noticed was the mid vocal seemed to soften a bit. They did take on a more airy, sound to it. Uh, when I first put them on, the mid vocals were uh, cleanly bright along with the upper mids and highs, but after about 50 hours, the mid vocal range it just seemed to soften lightly, become a bit more airy, become a bit more spacious, still very clear uh, and relatively bright compared to much darker headphones with the, you know, any darker headphones with heavy bass tend to swallow up the rest of the spectrum. These still relatively remain bright and clear, but the mid vocals did soften lightly. And that is probably actually, once again, due to the materials inside, not from the drivers relaxing, but from the actual op the backing and the faceplates just opening up more from vibrational agitation. Uh, now, just to briefly touch on sound signature, uh, heavy bass, it resonates all the way down to a 10 hertz floor. So it's got a very plump, very pronounced, very forward push bass. No other open back headphones I own, and I also, I do own the, like the AudioQuest Nighthawks, which are usually heralded for its good bass, as well as the Kinden Rosewood open backs, and so on and so on. Uh, none of my open backs can even remotely compare to the bass response that these puppies give. It is a very forward, boom, meaty, rich bass, uh, along with giving a very clear, bright treble. So hi-hats, snares, they, they pop out very well. And on the whole, it is a delicious sound that actually works very well for pretty much any audio genre. When you're listening to classical, the cellos take that nice bottom depth to it uh, as they hit the lows. EDM, rap, hip hop, of course, that electronic synth, uh, that 10 hertz bottom really does add a uh, substratum to the EDM uh, synthesizer beats. And, but at the same time, the bass doesn't bleed out over the rest of the spectrum. It's still controlled. It's still detailed. And so when you're listening to rock and roll often with mega bass sets, the, the bass will like, like a bass guitar will bleed out all over the singer, masking that poor drummer all the way in the background. Not so it's easy. It's, even though it does have a pumped plush bass, it's still controlled. It's still 
in where it needs to be. It just it's going. It is definitely though forefront of the sound stage so the mid vocals of course are, do have that sort of airy quality floating behind the bass and then at the same time it's sort of like a soft u scoop the upper mids and the highs are almost pretty much on level perceptually with the bass so it's just slight kind of u scoop in that perceptual forward depth all in all though i am extremely glad i pulled the trigger on these and for those looking for a pair of Bluetooth semi-open backs for that extended sound stage at the same time that has really robust bass and overall bright, clear spectrum, the Symphony Q has my absolute recommendation. sound. Tramp Lab.